is the only one of of importance to put to have an apple in 1866. I don't know. What I, you mean, mean. I mean, plenty of people had apples, but nobody of importance did. Oh. Especially the black ones. So. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Sir Isaac Newton? Wait, okay. Pause for oh, a second. Oh yeah, spoilers. Have you got the control? He's literally the only guy in 1666 to ever hold an apple. <laughs> Maybe the only black guy. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's very he's distinguished, you know, because of his skin tone. <laughs> I, I mean, I get what they're trying to be like, oh, we're we're dealing with a historical figure, but literally, he literally was just holding an apple. That that shouldn't be enough. It shouldn't the be. Year. <laughs> <laughs> By that logic, anyone standing near an apple tree holding an apple, I guess they're Isaac Fig Newton as well. So, and um, and I must be. Uh... Let's see who who can I be? <laughs> you can be Malcolm X or uh, Frederick Douglass. Hell, you can even be Harriet Tubman at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm not> kidding. <laughs> I mean, pick pick your historically um, accomplished black person, and you can definitely be it. So they can't tell you otherwise, sir. Plus I'm Stephen Hawking. I'm plus Stephen Hawking. That's why. As you say, plus you're in the chair, which means you are not a villain, sir. You're a fucking hero. So, hell, you can even be Black Panther if you want. I'm a noble warrior girl, is what I am. <laughs> oh, man, that's a deep cut right there. <laughs> For you who actually, who actually saw Captain Marvel. <laughs> oh, fucking trash from Disney, and it's on brand. They were just having a fun moment with Isaac Newton and the TARDIS was literally going to kill them about 10 seconds later. I was just going to say, is this their suppression system? Like, is this what it just needed to release the fire this entire time? And yet they had they had time for the yucks. I know, yeah. I hope those ramps are still safe. <laughs> Pause it for a second. Anything. I get that she was trying to be funny, but in what way is that even vaguely his fault? She was exactly. the one who was holding the coffee and talking and gesticulating and threw it on the console. Just straight threw it on the console. He wasn't even talking to her. She was talking. Yeah, she was talking at him. <laughs> um, uh, women can't be blamed. <laughs> yeah. I oh, the doctor's oh, gay okay. now. Pause for a second. I have no problem with with them making the doctor gay. What my issue is is by being like, well, it was never that far from the surface. Um, when you knew him, he was pining after Rose. That's my whole point. The love of his life, like, yes. it was. It's not like it was. Oh, it was never far from the surface. It's like he was never gay before. I have no problem right. with this version of him being gay, but pretending that was always the thing. No, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, that's the whole reason uh, Martha Jones left is because he was still pining over Rose. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. How is there no bleed over? Seriously, there's like none, none at all. It's like they completely just stripped it. No residual of effects whatsoever. I, I have a hard time believing that. It seems strange I know. to me. Especially when it's like Time Lord, you know, essential, essentially essence. Like, how do you not have anything? Chaos, welcome. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? We already... Uh, I mean, it's not that much in. I know you've seen it, but we've already hit, you know, the old identity politics thing and the sexual orientation part and preference. Yeah. And, yeah. It's it's nowhere near as bad. No, as, no, no. I, as as part one, that's for sure. 
No, yeah, I I can see that. Like it's it's, I know it's not even done, and it's miles ahead of uh, part one. So the um yeah the the only part aside from the uh, aside from those moments that kind of make me raise my eyebrows is the fact that like there's no bleed over from the fact that she was Doctor Donna about thirty seconds ago. Uh oh no, that's she, that's a cold kill. That's like done. It's, it seems like there should be, just in my head. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and she really seems exceedingly concerned with what's going on, like disproportionately, considering how long she did travel with him. That was about it. Pretty sure that this is where Luke lost his hand. True. <laughs> what's with the freak outs? Oh, it's just, it's because, uh, well, a lot of it's because Chibno definitely retconned his origin in the Timeless Children. So that's like, it's like a whole thing where the doctor is not even from this universe. It's, it's, it's a whole thing. I'll go through it at the end, but it's, I think it's just like a combination of like him not knowing who he is and stuff. Thank heavens for those ADA required ramps. <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. So yeah, uh, special part two here definitely miles ahead of part one for sure. Yeah, for sure. S- serious midnight feel to it too. I was gonna Most say of- I got I got like blink midnight vibes for yeah. sure. Most of my issues with this episode were, aside from the stupidity at the beginning, most of the issues I had were just nitpicks, really, um, rather than yeah. anything substantive. Yeah, Isaac Fig Newton. That was. And yeah, that was. About, yeah, that was. The joke about gravity, like. <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. But other than that, that was dumb. I see that RTD is definitely doubling down on the timeless children. So apparently that's a thing now. So the doctor's whole origin now is going to stem from the doctor being a little girl from another universe that was found by Tech Taeun, who was a space, expl- space explorer on Gallifrey who in turn grafted this little girl's abilities to regenerate and turn the natives on the planet into time lords. So. So, well, um, that's significantly Don't. less interesting. <laughs> than, like, I mean, if, if, if the doctor's been regenerating indefinitely for however damn long, how is there any real threat? I thought most of the real threat was 12 lives and you're done. Or 13, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and you add that, like, now, as far as we know, there's no limit. So why is there any, why is there any danger? Where are the stakes, right? More or less. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. I'm not uh oh. Oh, Chaos. Ahead. One one quick question, Chaos. Yep. How does it feel to know Wilfred is evil? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> those those are fighting words, sir. <laughs> I didn't say it. Russell T. Davis did. <laughs> yeah, well That's true. I'm pl- I'm planning a road trip to England, I think. <laughs> like that's worth hopping the pond and having a an aggressive negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, I mean, other than those couple of things, you know, it you know, there were moments that reminded me of, you know, classic tenant who for sure and uh so we got glimpses of that (sighs) 
I don't know how much or how long that's going to last. <laughs> yeah, TC, this was a much better um, much better read on how how like data operates. Yeah. Much better look at how, how like data is as a companion. Yeah. I, I mean, I had a couple a couple things were a little weird to me, but nothing nothing egregious this time around. Yeah. Aside from the stupidity we established at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, their uh their rapport there, you know, it definitely reminded me of the old days and a lot of those scenes. So and they really tugged on the heartstrings at the end. So, you know, yeah. they, they definitely knew what they were doing. I just I don't know. I just can't get I can't get down with the with the retcon. Just can't do it. Nope. But uh yeah, I mean, you know, it was you know, six out of ten. It was fine. It was fine. I think I, I think I'm actually looking for more forward to the the next one, if for no other reason than to see see Neil Patrick Harris play. Yeah, yeah, play the, that, toy, the, yeah the, that, the toy maker. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. I'm looking forward to seeing him as toy maker as well in this role. I mean, the acting, the acting is you know not a problem. Like everybody's doing. Yeah. <laughs> great at that i mean of course tenant man he's just this is just the, the role for him like he just does it so well so he's probably one of the few that honestly and i i'm very hesitant to say this because i wouldn't want this on his like resume he's probably one of the few actors that could probably save freaking disney wars if he was in a movie mm. but i don't want that I'm... on on his resume I mean, he was already in Ahsoka, so. Well, yeah, but he was a voice actor for like the second most, uh, second most interesting character in the whole show. <laughs> uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not wrong. Hugh Yang. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, Hugh Yang. Yeah, he's the real MVP right there. <laughs> yeah, and the only reason that I even figured that out was besides the credits was like I'm listening to him talk and I'm like yeah that's that sounds like an a lot like a lone Z like how Tennant says it you know it's it it has the same same pitch to it so I'm like yeah okay well he just must have done this because he was bored because he's he's definitely not hurt for money. <laughs> oh no he doesn't not need he doesn't need the check for the check for Bisley. No He'll take it, but he doesn't need it. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't take that check? Right? Yeah. yeah. It's probably the last time they'll be able to pay somebody that much. <laughs> what, too soon? Uh, you're not wrong about that either. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you know what? If honestly, if they gave him in the Star Wars universe, they gave him a a really good character and there were like some competent writers you know i could see him i can see him you know doing like a great job pulling people in you know i can definitely see that but I mean, make I him the qui-gon jinn of the of the prequels 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 yeah i mean i know he can act his ass off but i mean you can only do so much with the material you're given so yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah he's 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 solid he's solid but yeah, man, I really honestly don't have much else to say. <laughs> yeah, about this episode, like I don't, I don't really have a whole, a whole, yeah. lot of, a whole lot to complain about out here. Yeah, you know this one. Yeah. And I mean, and, and, and I mean, yeah, like it, it was, it was dumb that they made Newton like a guy from India. But honestly, that's such a minute point. I'm like. I don't care enough to complain about it, to be honest. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, that's cool. You did you did something weird there. But you know what? You didn't like add anything to it. You didn't screw anything up. So you know, whatever. You you check the box, good for you. Let's move on. Like 
honestly, it, it bugged me a little, but I was almost more irritated by the fact that though that they made gravity jokes and it's like he hasn't even come up with the idea for gravity. Oh, and the other thing was the fact that they're like they're like 1866 and Apple, you're Isaac Newton. It's like um I, I would or, expect or, the doctor to put that together, but you know, not Donna. I, I, literally um that implies he's literally the only person to ever have an apple in that that year. <laughs> he's the only one of of importance to put to have an apple in 1866. I don't know. What I, you mean, mean. I mean, plenty of people had apples, but nobody of importance did. Oh, especially the black ones. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well done, Barbara. <laughs> oh man. Dude, <laughs> that was 1666. What, sorry, the... Whatever. That was harsh. <laughs> Savage. Well, on that note, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys have nothing more. I can't top that one. <laughs> no, I'm good. Uh yeah. Dude, you're the MVP of this round, Barbara. <laughs> yep, you win. <laughs> <laughs> well, Steve, thank you guys for tuning in. We ask that you smash that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and let us know what you guys think. Hit that bell for notifications. Share this video out there, and you guys take care. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.